Today we're going to take a very exciting flight to Vegas on board Porter's Embraer E195 E2 jet, but this time with a twist. For this video, Porter Airlines granted us exclusive permission to interview the crew operating today's flight, and we also managed to capture some amazing footage from the flight deck. Adding to that, we'll also be documenting the entire flight experience from start to finish. So let's get right into it. All right, hey everybody, welcome to Toronto Pearson here in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Dan and I are here together today to fly on Porter Airlines from Toronto to Las Vegas for Flight Sim Expo. Normally it's just me, but I'm joined by the legend himself, Jason. We're gonna have some fun, so. Gonna be good. Yeah, ready to get into it? Let's go. Let's head to the plane. Before boarding the plane, let's spew some facts about the airline. Porter Airlines is a Canadian airline that started its operations back in 2006. They originally took to the skies with a growing fleet of de Havilland Dash 8 Q400s, and this particular aircraft type still remains in their fleet to this day. Fast forwarding a bit, Porter acquired a bunch of Embraer E2 jets to extend their services throughout North America. Today we have the privilege to fly on one of these new jets, so let's hop on board. Boarding Group Zero. <laughs> boarding Group Zero. Very abnormal, but this will be fun. Welcome on board Charlie Golf Kilo Quebec Julia, a virtually brand new plane that took its first flight at the end of 2022. We're sure that you'll all agree that the E2 flight deck is absolutely stunning, so be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video where we'll interview Benjamin, our captain for today, who'll give us a brief tour of the flight deck and a debrief of our flight to Vegas. All right, so we just got on the plane. The, the cabin is actually really, really nice. We'll do the seat review once we're airborne, obviously, like usual. But initial impressions, very good, very comfortable, plenty of leg room, and honestly, really looking forward to the flight. You looking forward to it? It's gonna be great. Oh yeah. One thing that's really cool about flying on Porter, uh, no matter where you're sitting, is that they have gate-to-gate -gate Wi-Fi. So I think all you need is a VI Porter account, you sign in there, Wi-Fi for the whole flight. And this is my third flight on Porter, and uh, so far I've had success with the Wi-Fi every time. Porter Airlines offers a very unique all-economy experience, but they do allow you to tailor that all-economy experience when making a booking. By this, we mean there are a few fare types to choose from. We decided to sit up front near the pointy end of the plane in Porter Reserve. We'll dive into the fare types later in the video because it's almost time for takeoff. How amazing was that? Now that we're up, let's take a look at the Porter Reserve seat. Okay, so before the crew start their service, I thought it'd be a good idea to go ahead and show you the seat itself, a comprehensive review of the seat, which honestly is very nice based off the first impressions. As you can see, legroom, I'm six foot one, and this is uh, plentiful. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot of it, which is really, really nice. You don't have to worry about the legroom at all. Looking upwards then, you have the standard, your standard adjustable tray table, just like, you know, your regular airliner. This one's nice because it folds forwards, so you can adjust how much of the tray table you actually use, which is quite neat. Going upwards a little bit more, then you have a one of two seat back pockets. You could potentially slide an iPad in here or something. Uh, you can use it for storage, which is which is really good. Uh, you can't complain about extra storage on any flight. Looking down here, then you have the seat pocket, elastic seat pocket, and then inside there you have the safety cards and a magazine to read through on your flight. Oh, and <laughs> in case you need it, <laughs> there's a, a sick bag. Hopefully I don't need that on this one. Taking a look down here then, 
Top tip, by the way, seatbelt. Leave it on on every flight. You never know when you're going to need it. You have an adjustable armrest, always good. Me and Jason are fighting over whose armrest it is. It's mine at the minute. And then if we take a look down here, you have the power outlets. These are international power outlets. On the side of the chair, you have a hook. This is always great because then you can hang up your jacket if you don't want to crease it, which is always a very nice feature. Okay, so then taking a look this way, you have the adjustable headrest. This is great. I love when airlines do this. It's a very nice feature. You can adjust the side of the headrest so you can rest your head against each side here or hold your head in place if you're going to go to sleep. And then you can also, in addition to that, raise it and lower it depending on how tall you are and where your head sits in the seat. And then, the part that I don't like doing because I'm rest <laughs> And then the part that I don't like doing because it's a day flight. Maybe on a night flight I'd do this, but just for the sake of the video, you can uh, recline, you know? <laughs> Great. Well, the other seat is... Um, it's good. It's actually very, very nice. Now, one thing we can't forget, the last thing, if we take a look up, you have the air vent. This individual air vent, which is really nice. Some aircraft that you fly on nowadays don't have these, so it's nice to have the option to open and close the air vent above you if you're slightly hot on the flight. So, Dan, um, when do we review the lav? Uh, you can do the loo review when you need the loo. The loo, the loo review. <laughs> so. The loo review, lav. I mean, don't they all look the same? I guess so, but I put my vote up here and say, Jason, it's your turn. I've okay. done it many times, so. <laughs> All right. Well, then I will take you for a lav, a Lou review, <laughs> coming up soon. All right, so here we are for as what Dan would call the Lou review. Uh, yeah, this is the lav on board the E2, and we've got pretty standard setup here. We've got your tissues, nice soap dispenser, trash bin. And right here we've got the baby changing station. And then if we look over here on the door, we've got a coat hook and then something, maybe you can let us know in the comments or maybe Dan knows what this is, I do not. Jason, that's an ashtray. Although it's forbidden to smoke on planes, aircraft labs are still fitted with these so that the crew have somewhere to safely put out cigarettes if they find someone smoking. All right, that's today's fun fact with Dan. Back to you, Jason. Anyway, there we have it. This is the toilet. The lavatory on board the uh, Porter Airlines E2. Porter Reserve gets uh, a meal on the longer flights, so we're gonna find out what's in here. This is cool. All right. Okay, so it looks like we've got this little uh, tray that pops out, some uh, cutlery. And I know this is a weird thing to say, maybe, but this is uh, not a paper napkin. It's some sort of material. Oh, it's recyclable, made from 100% cotton. So that's a nice touch. And we've got... Uh, oh, please put it on. Please. Is it? Is it? I don't know Wait, what, what it is. No, it's not. <laughs> it's, oh, I thought it was, I thought it was a, a mask. Oh, it's a little stand. So it, stand. this is to hold your phone. And then we've got some sort of a little dessert. Truffle. Chocolate truffle and uh, some bread and a little quesquesse. I don't know what's in here, let's find out. All right, so this looks like a little couscous salad with, um, or maybe that might even be pasta of some kind and then um, some artichoke veggies. A little bit of a dressing on there. Yeah. A little vinaigrette, yep. Do a taste test. Shall I? Let's do it. All right. That's good. Great, all right, I'm gonna tuck right in. Okay, so I've just realized that this is not just bread. So sometimes it's the little things, you know? They're little sandwiches. Oh, wow. Amazing, thank you so much. You're welcome. So the cool thing about Porter is that they have um, free beer and wine for the whole airplane, not just Porter Reserve. Little Jackson Triggs red wine action here, cheers. So Porter offers three different classes of fares. They have Porter Classic, Porter Classic Stretch and Porter Reserve. Each class comes with different levels of seat recline with two, four, and six inches respectively. And then in terms of legroom, Porter Classic starts with 30 inches, Porter Classic Stretch is 34 inches, and Porter Reserve is 36. So when you're sitting at the front of the plane, like Dan and I are today, we have oodles of legroom for our long, almost five hour flight. So it's very comfortable.
And to make Porter Reserve even better, you get an upsized snack selection and on flights that are over two and a half hours long, you get a fresh meal. With that out of the way, let's head up to the front of the plane for a tour of the galley. Hi, my name is Boyana and I've been with Porter 18 years. I'm Purser and this is, we'll give you a little tour of our new E2 aircraft. So we sit here, the in charge would sit in this seat and the flight attendant, the color 1R, would be sitting in this seat. This is our screen that we see what's happening. So if somebody calls us uh, in the galley, we can see where this person is, uh, what seat and what row they're calling from. Any announcements that we need to make, lighting in the cabin. We have all kinds of scenarios, so we're always the same, everybody's standard across the board. So this is the map that we can uh, see where we are. So we are approaching Denver shortly. So this is our galley. We have the carts, they come from catering already with uh, drinks and pops, wine, everything is uh, ready for us. So it's easier to serve and uh, just get going. Our little cooler, where we try to keep our wine on ice, so it's nice and cold and refreshing. Coffee maker, and this is the most important. These are the meals that we come for our, for our passengers. So we have done already service. So this would be something that we would be serving. So these are the meals, everybody loves them. So this is it, it's small, it's cozy, but we love it. We have front and the back. But yeah, it's so cool. We have lots of privacy. We have this curtain, so if we do take a break, uh, we can eat, we can close it. We also have one more, just like this. And then we can hide. <laughs> All right, well, I think we've more or less covered everything. Now going to relax and enjoy the rest of the flight. The Porter experience is very nice and we're going to make the very most of that. How does that sound to you, Jason? Well, it seems like Jason is really enjoying that Porter Reserve seat. Anyway, let's get ready for landing. Welcome to Vegas! That was a really neat approach with the Las Vegas Strip on our right hand side. Once we're parked at the gate, we'll head up to the flight deck for a tour and flight debrief. Alright, how you doing? My name is Benjamin and I fly the E2 for Porter Airlines. One thing you can see here with this aircraft it's a very modern aircraft. It's the newest one from Embraer. As far as a little tour of our cockpit or flight deck here, we've got the yoke here. It's a little uh, different. It's a more of a, what is it, a race bike motorcycle handle. Uh, we also have our gear handle here. As you can see, it's shaped as a wheel, so we know when we're feeling it without looking that it's the gear handle. Over here, we have the uh, slap flap lever, also shaped like a flap so we know without even looking at the lever that it's for the slap flap. Uh, the E2, you may not be aware, but uh, one of the uh, features in the flight deck, it's designed with a quiet and dark concept. So in flight, we know that all the systems are working normally if it's quiet in here, there's no alarms and uh, there's no fire bells. Also, as long as there's no lights lit up here on the overhead panel or on the glare shield or the center pedestal, we know all systems are normal. If by any chance you see a light lit up, for example, in the ice protection panel there, if this button lights up, it just means it's not in the automated position where we can use the wing anti-ice system. So we'll put that back to normal. So as long as it's dark, it's in the normal operation of all the systems. Another feature they have to help our scan make it look simple is as long as all of these uh, selector switches are in the 12 o'clock position, as you can see, this one's on the ground. But as long as these are all 12 o'clock, also in the normal position. So as you can see, everything here is working properly and normal. For today's flight, um, we are climbing, cruising at 34,000 feet. We actually had to uh, climb up to 38,000 feet because of the weather 
that we had encountered there. We also had to deviate around a bunch of cells there. I, know, I think you noticed some of the bumps and it looks like we were pretty successful, very minimal turbulence that we, we encountered there. So from the flight deck, uh, welcome to Porter Airlines and I hope to see you in the near future on one of our flights. All right, well that was our flight with Porter Airlines on their E195 E2 jet. What do you think? Incredible. Yeah, at Porter, amazing airline, really, really nice experience, very accommodating as well with our requests to uh, film this video. Not sponsored, but um, even taken out of the equation, very accommodating, and we had an amazing time. So Porter, if you're watching this, thank you so much for the experience. Cheers. Let's go explore Las Vegas.